Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Table Spent. So today we will learn about UI layer. We have covered the uh, earlier uh, the database layer, the three tier structure, and then overall uh, how to make the app right. So so UI is a critical part of our three three tier structure. So let's go through UI layer today. So the UI layer user interface layer is is the presentation tier and three layer architecture. It's everything user sees and interact with it in applications, right? And it has mostly the visual elements like buttons, forms, menus, and images or anything visually you can see on the screen is all right there, okay? Let's go to next. So here, this is the top layer also where the user will interact, right? We have already discussed about business layer and the data layer, okay? Let's go, go next and see. That okay. What are the UI layer components? Right? So when we say uh, um, UI, what what do what do we mean, right? So the first thing first, you have a, a HTML structure if you are uh, using a, a browser, okay, and then you have a lot of styling, and then then within UI components the uh, the relations, right, and then the logic like let's say click button to do some maths on the UI, right. So those are like uh, JavaScript logic. And then uh, there is a navigation layer where you know, the menu which you see on the UI is called uh, navigation. Okay. And the components are like, again, we will discuss. Uh, These this are like most essential part of the of the UI when you are using React or any, any, any framework. Okay. And responsive is basically the responsive, right? So on UI, but we are building on that. It should also work very well on different uh, screen sizes, right? So same UI may not look good at a mobile, right? If you, if you compress it, right? So so that there we, we, we build a responsive design, okay? And it, it takes care of uh, uh, the size of the device and then renders all the, the components like this, right? Uh, we have gone deep into this, right? But uh, to learn this, to get the concept, uh, you don't need to be technical, right? You don't need to learn coding for this, okay? But this is an important concept to learn, right? What, what is UI and what is the the relations between UI and uh, the logic layer and uh, and uh, a database, right? So, so we, we, that's why we are covering this today. And uh, let's go next. Okay, these are like conceptual, right? Once we go to the application and see, it may look very simple, right? Uh, Concept-wise, it may look uh, 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 overwhelming, right? So there are a lot of UI layer frameworks which we use, like React. Uh, in our case, uh, table sprint case, we use React, right? But there is an Angular by Google. React is by Facebook. Okay, and then you also have a, a pure JavaScript framework, very famous framework, Vue.js, and then you have also Sublet, right? So, so you can use any framework to build your UIs, or you can just use a plain simple HTML to build a new UI. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, what browsers actually understand, right? So that's the that's the main thing which we will cover today, and that's the simplest thing, right, uh, to uh, to understand the UI, right? So let's go back to our app and see one of the UI first. So even this tutorial which we made, right? so this has a UI. Okay, all these buttons are UI buttons, right? These are the components. So this this is like a button. It's just doing something, changing the screen, right? And if you go back my preview, so the same tutorial in the in the in the table is the the preview. This is also one app, and that app has this uh, uh, this UI. And then this UI is written in a React from it builds in React, but our browser only understands uh, 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 what you say HTML, right? So, so no matter which framework you use, you are using React, using Angular, right? The frame everything has to convert back to an HTML, right? So, if you know HTML, that should be a solid start for you, right? And to get the UI, and that should be enough to understand, you know, how UI works, right? So, in table sprint, if you look into the code. Right, it will show you the page code in a HTML format itself. Right, so here if you see it's an HTML code, you can see the there is a HTML tag. I will not go into into detail in the uh, HTML tutorial. I will give you the link of from where you can uh, learn HTML in detail. But uh, it's a pretty simple Notepad uh, uh, document, right, which you can go and uh, paste into a Notepad document to like table sprint, right. So let's, let's try to copy this uh, HTML. Okay. And then we can go and so if we copy our code and then we just go and paste it in a notepad. Right. If I just go and 
paste the code in notepad. This is an HTML file. Okay. You can um, see it here. It starts with HTML, right? And it has like a lot of uh, headers and all. You don't have to worry about it. If I, if I paste it and then I go and save this file, save this file as a text.html, you choose as a, as a hypertext markup language file. Hypertext markup, right? That's a full form of HTML. And then you just save it. You have got one new file of yourself, which will, oh, it will move that back to my folder. And here, if you see, I have a text.html file here. If I go and click it, so you can see the your UI coming out here, opening in the browser, right? And that's completely HTML, right? And if it's not showing you all the designs of the UI, which we talked about, right? Which we were able to see the uh, uh, architecture, right? So these designs are missing, right? These infractions are missing. This is how you make the UI converted into HTML. So you are using React or Angular or Vue. Everything has to get converted into a stringer and then they have to show it like this. And that's the, that's the main main thing, right? And there are a lot of other benefits of using those frameworks, but even the HTML works very well uh, for you. I, because everything opens in browser and and every every language has to convert front language has to convert into the browser language. And browser language is only one language that's called HTML. How this whole uh, UI thing works, right? Uh, so let's go to whiteboard and and see how it uh, works. So I guess I'm just I'm just trying to draw a few of the things, right? To to make a, a sense of UI database and and logic list. So you need a you have a browser. How do we open a website? Right? We have a browser browser, right? It could be Chrome, it could be Firefox, it could be even an your app, right? So Android iOS, right? So anything, right? Uh, even on your app, it, it works. So even the Android UIs and all, they, they work differently, but there is still a UI, right? So in browser, you put a URL and then this URL requests to your UI server, right? It requests to your UI server. In UI server, it could be React, it could be Angular, right? So, so from browser, you get a request to UI server, okay? And then UI server takes your uh, request and gives you the UI and then it also internally calls your logic layer, logic layer. And in the logic layer, again, you have like, you, you can have a logic like, uh, and then you can have logic like your, your, your DB connections. So, so all these things are lying on the logic layer and then the other DB, right? So, and then, then other backends, right? So we will not get into that, right? So the important one is, uh, uh, browser and the UI, right? So basically, when you put a, a URL request, right, the request goes to your uh, UI server. Then UI server serves you uh, the basic components of the UI, and then those components are attached with the, your logic layer. And from there, they they get you what to render on your on your website, right? Uh, on your browser, like it has a form, it has a card. All those things gets rendered on your Browser. So that's how pretty much most of the web app uh, work. Okay. If you look into a mobile app, uh, uh, Android or iOS, uh, similar process, but maybe a, a bit different jargons. But fundamental is you need to know HTML on the UI side. As long as you understand a bit of HTML to make an UI, you can make an UI and then you connect it to the uh, 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 logic layer and you can just do the, the deep, right? So, so this is how the the UI layer works. So let's quickly have a look at the print UI uh, pieces which we talked about, right? So this is like one example with that, where you know you can you can look at this like courses, students, quizzes, right? So this is like a navigation bar. So so navigation bar of the these are like chips and card, right? So these are we, we call it a, a card views, right? Then you have a chart view. So this is like a chart of it's showing you other different charts, right? Uh, which is again a card in the data from on the database, right? Uh, from your backend, right? So this data is coming into this this card, right? Uh, let's look at some more things uh, here in table sprint, like you also get a browser. So these are like uh, a filter or browser we call it. So here, uh, so this is also part of a UI component. It's built, right? 
bit also the cause right? with with the messages and all so design all these things like right? uh, exists on the your okay. but the data in the end is being from the back end layer using the logic right? like how you show so the logic could be right you know, that show me only beginner on so so you can even if it's into your backend like that it will just show you on the beginner level data for the cards right so so there are different types of uh, ui right uh, the thing is you know you're getting the then there is a like supply it's called a button right uh, uh, these are like icons right which you can use right so everything is a ui button these are all designed in way. so they use css for designing but it takes care of of for most of your uh, design part okay if you go back to the table screen you know, that you have like all this data here so whatever you are seeing there it is coming from this one right so from courses all the courses are going to everybody so they are sitting into the data nice and then from there you are if you click on the visual edit part here and then you can look into your page right so let's say like discover your learning journey so you can change this you right so this you are actually changing in your html file right so it can give you the most of the things and then slightly here and there changes you can do on your own or you can again ask ai to do it so these are like ui changes right which you are, are doing and then it it refresh the pages right so anything which which ever is applied from the statement or you can go to the html take it the code out and then again redesign it and then paste it here it will work right so for course the ui that is the ui right for studio this is the ui for quiz it is the ui right and anything which you change in that scene here will get reflected over there right so let's say uh, educate course test talks right so you can change your ui uh, whichever you may, you may want you can change it visually you can ask ai to change it or you can ask, uh, change the code and to get your get your ui so hope you like the ui layer what you're doing today uh, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, this is part of a, a of a, of a course this video is a part of a course Uh, where we are covering all the basic concepts of app building and if you can go through efficiently uh, through all all courses are like 10 to 15 minutes uh, long not very technical okay so if you spend some time you would be able to gain pretty good knowledge of uh, different components of app building and you should be able to build your own app confidently and launch it on production as well so thank you